Welcome to another video in the Design for Assembly series. In this video, we're going to talk about Pokayoke, which is a term that means mistake proofing. Let's jump over to Creo Parametric. Here is a situation that I saw a lot as a cable harness design engineer. We have a cable with four plugs. They are all D3899s with a C size shell, and they are plugging into four different connectors on our line replaceable unit. So at this point, I want you to pause the video and take a look at this and think about how someone could possibly make mistakes when they are putting this together and how you would prevent them from making those different mistakes. The obvious problem here is that someone could accidentally plug the wrong connector into the wrong spot. So let's take a look at one method that you could use to prevent this. First, we try color coding. So we're going to have different color cables and we're going to have a color marking on the box for the appropriate place where they can go into. What's the problem with this? Well, we know that some people are colorblind, so it's still possible for them to make a mistake. For the next method, in case you're not familiar with connectors, there's something called keying. And keying is where you have a variety of different slots so that a certain key connector can only fit to another connector with the same kind of key. And so you have N for normal, and then there are five other different variations, A, B, C, D, and E. So here is another method in which we can prevent mistakes from being made. We can incorporate keying. For example, the connector down at the bottom will use the normal key, and then the next one up will use the A key, and then the next one up will use the B key, and finally the C key. But this still isn't perfect because someone would still waste time possibly fumbling around trying to put the wrong connector with the wrong keying into the wrong location. So let's take a look at another method. Some of you may have jumped to this method immediately from the start. We could use different size connectors. So for example, we could use B shell connectors for the bottom location and then a C size connector and then a D size connector and an E size connector. So when we have the connectors with different sizes, it'll be a lot more obvious to the person who's plugging these in which one goes where. So there you have it. When you're working on your assemblies, try to think about the person who's going to be putting this together or maybe servicing this later on. How can you make their lives easier? 